Welcome to Al Mazra. This is our new map for Warzone 2.0. It is a really interesting mix of geography. It is expansive desert settings with a mix of industrial areas, towns, a city, and of course, water. It looks way better on this screen than it did on Twitter. <laughs> Um, but you're going to find a lot of really cool elevation, rocky peaks, caves, subterranean spaces. This map is beautiful, and it's actually the biggest BR map that we've ever made. And um, I am so excited for all of our streamers here to jump into El Masra later today. It's huge. Look at the size of that thing. Uh, cool. Okay, so that was a big picture, and it's a great way <laughs> to see it from a sort of top-down layout. But uh, let's take a better look at some of these points of interest. So when we set out to create these spaces, the team works to make it feel like a real space, right? So that there's infrastructure in between all the different, what we call, points of interest along the map. And if you're paying attention, you might even see a few that seem pretty familiar out there as well. Um, and so as the team works through these, they're trying to find some variety on each uh, uh, point of interest to make them, them something that the players will want to drop in and get the particularity of that single point of interest and find the place that they want to drop and where they want to play, whether it be a higher level elevation observatory at the center of the map whether it be the big city that's at the top right and whether they want to explore that or whether they want to work in some of our pois where we have water intersecting with ge with geometry here so we have in this one uh, Ooh, oh, that looks oh, familiar that familiar <laughs> <laughs> Um, and there's a river system that goes through all of this. So you'll be able to catch in a boat and drive between the different POIs. <laughs> and here's one of our favorite, <laughs> Sawa Village, which is... That's my favorite. ...colloquially yeah. called Sunken Town. I mean, I love to swim, so you find me there. So moving on to the gameplay, uh, we've got this beautiful space to play in. How do all of these multiplayer elements we've talked about a little bit earlier, how do they fit into Warzone 2.0? I mean, the super simple answer is all the stuff we talked about in multiplayer, the stuff you saw in the multiplayer trailer, that's all in Warzone, right? It's all integrated. So that tactical camera works in Warzone. That decoy mine works in Warzone. Like, it's all of it's been built from the ground up for both. The slide, the dive, the water, like. More swimming. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is a great taste of some of the water combat. I can't wait to go full Captain Miller. You know, Apocalypse Now coming out of the water, knifing people. I mean, this just looks. Yeah, the rendering team made some work. So you come out, you're looking all wet. Yeah. yeah. See the caustics yeah. on the bottom. Yep. I, I'm not even sure what caustics are. I, <laughs> I have no idea, but it sounds great and it looks incredible. You can see the armored patrol boat coming by there with its two turrets. It's There's some cool stuff. So I'm glad you brought up vehicles. Uh, Steph, you touched on vehicles a little bit earlier. What can we talk about? Uh, you know, we've seen boats, we've seen tanks, we've seen all sorts of track. What have we got? So we've implemented a new physics and handling model for the vehicles. So some vehicles are heavier, some will slide more, have more traction or less traction. And as you're driving them around and you're encountering them and other squads are playing with them, you can choose to shoot off the tires to kind of impact the handling. You can have them, re they react to explosives differently based on their weight. So if you're in a heavy armored 4x4 and get hit by an RPG, it's going to kind of bounce a little bit, but not quite take the hit as a small sedan. Um, you can also choose with your squad to be rolling into a POI and somebody jumps out on the roof, somebody leans out the window, and suddenly you get yourself a lot of firepower driving into the POI. Of course, that vehicle needs to survive for quite some time in the map if you want to keep using it to go from point to point. Um, and vehicles will run out of gas, or at least most of them will, um, will run out of gas, <laughs> and then uh, you can bring them to a gas station to fill them up. If your tire has been blown up, you can get out and repair it, or you can bring it to a gas station to get repaired as well. Oh and of my. course, we've got you know water vehicles, we've got a small boat, we've got the boat that Joe mentioned with the turret, with at, the the turret. Front, turret at the back, so you can have that little moment cruising up the river with your whole squad ready to rumble. Um, so yeah, there is so much love that's gone into these you vehicles. Forgot the coolest around. vehicle. The coolest the, vehicle. The massive helicopter the that you can fly big, around. And that's big a moving chopper. platform with three doors and people player. You can move a whole squad through the map. What? Re wreak havoc. It is so cool. Oh my god. I mean, the fact that you can lean out of the window, you know, yep. grab your teammates, pile in a vehicle, actually, you know, do, engage in yep. battle from the window, leaning out, unless shooting, some, Unless somebody blew off your door. That won't. Oh, that, does, <laughs> that does complicate That's things, doesn't it? PTSD from uh, Joe killing me many times in our play tests. <laughs> well, I hope the uh, gas price is in our Mazda are okay. I thought there's a lot going on in Warzone 2.0, and uh, my head is quite frankly spinning. Uh, what are the mass? I know there are guns, but do we shoot them? What's happening? 
<laughs> but what do you want to jump into first? Oh, Steffi, no, go ahead. We, go, we've go. made some pretty sweeping changes, I think, to the high-level components of, of Warzone 2.0 to continue providing players with both a dynamic and rewarding VR experience. But Warzone 2.0, you're going to hear it over and over again today. It's about fun. This is about playing with your friends, having fun, you know, friends new and old. Maybe you're making them a game. And I think one particular feature that I cannot wait to see the streamers <laughs> Engage with will be our prox chat. Yes. Uh, so it's coming. It will be in Warzone, and I, I, I there is going to be some amazing clips. <laughs> but um, I think Joe can uh, tell us a little bit more about looting in, about looting. in Warzone 2.0. I'm, I'm listening to that. The streamers yeah, love prox chat. <laughs> yeah, they're like, yes. Um, you know. In looting in um, Warzone 2.0, we still have the humming crates. You know, you can still travel around and listen for those. We still have the loose loot on the ground, but we wanted to add a layer of learnability and and logic to our looting, right? So if you if you're outside, if you're a little kid, you fall down, you hurt your knee, and your mom's gonna go inside, go to the medicine cabinet, and get you something to a band-aid, neosporin, whatever. So that's our looting. If you're if you need health <laughs> items, you can hit a bathroom in a building, and there'll be a medicine cabinet. You can open it up. Um, if you want to get loadout items, um, there are these hidden caches throughout in between the POIs that are in ground, and you can memorize where they are because they're always there. So you can kind of start to develop these paths through the map of how you loot. And there's this logic applied to looting. You know, you can find toolboxes that will have grenades and things in them. Um, and you find these other crates that are kind of like, it's as if the, the military that occupied the space came through and dropped off military items. Those crates are always there. So you can always have this reliable layer to looting. Incredible, this sounds really exciting. We go on a road trip through Al Mazarin, quite literally like have a, a route we plan, hit the gas, gas station, up, yeah. pick up gas snacks. up, yeah, pick up snacks, pick up ammo and all sorts. Okay, cool. So what about circle mechanics? I mean, this is obviously a, a huge component of BR's joke. Yeah, I mean, the circle's been a staple of BRs. It's been really hard to move away from it. So we kind of talked about what could we do to mix things up with the circle. So we've got this new mechanic where the circle can actually split, almost like a cell splits, into two, three, or even four circles. And then those circles kind of close down. And what it does is it segregates teams, and you have these micro battles in those circles. And at a certain point, you're like, OK, we've cleared out our circle. We think we're good. And then those circles merge. They come back together. And you know, you have this very directed fight of like, as the circle's moving, you're like gearing up in buildings. You're like, here we go. It's about to kick off. And as soon as those circles hit, you have that final fight. So it's another kind of like twist in the gameplay that we feel like is a cool world event that would happen. Like, oh, the circle's splitting. We need to do X. Crazy. Get in the car. Oh, we're going now! Go! All right, so uh, apart, from, apart from circle splitting, uh, what about the Gulag? Is that still around? I mean, there's so much change, man. I mean, I'm ready for it, but Joe, what do we got? The Gulag, you know, we've been experimenting with, we've tried some crazy things. With the <laughs> uh, but the, the, the current version of the Gulag that we, we have running right now, where we're excited people to play, is you're not in there alone. You actually have this temporary alliance with another opponent in the map and you guys you have to work together and if you can defeat the other team you can get out and after that you guys are enemies again but for that moment it's like all right we need each other let's do this you use the proximity chat to talk to each other <laughs> and the other thing we've been playing around with is you may see a little bit of an ai presence in the gulag so you kind of you have to be on your toes like you're working with an enemy there might be an ai here you're picking up weapons um, we're excited for people to try it. And, and yeah, we're going to get feedback today, too. Yeah. And, and like Joe said, we've we've been through some pretty wild iterations of the Gulag, which I will not reveal yeah. here. But uh, there's there's a lot in store. <laughs> uh, there certainly is a lot in store. Um, Jack, I have heard uh, of a new concept coming to Warzone 2.0 called Strongholds. That will include AI that may impact how players get their weapons, etc. Uh, uh, can you clue me into what that's all about and if it's even true? Absolutely. Um, so strongholds are reinforced buildings that the, uh, that the AI is occupying inside Al Mazra in BR. And the players can choose whether or not they want to engage with them and assault them to get cool rewards, including free loadout items, which is one of the new ways that we're adding for players to get their hands on their best weaponry. Um, we've worked really hard to bring AI into, at scale into Warzone 2, and you're going to encounter them in multiple modes in different ways. In BR specifically, they're in these strongholds, and if you get to a stronghold, you can find the location of a black site, which is going to have even cooler stuff in it, and you can fight your way from one to the next. Um, but in other modes, you're going to find the AI occupying large portions of the map and just kind of protecting different POIs in different ways. Unreal. OK, so we've all heard the rumors that Warzone 2.0 is going to have some very, very interesting new modes. Uh, would you care to confirm or deny Stephanie Snowden? It's finally time. <laughs> At launch, I am happy to announce DMZ 
Call of Duty's extraction mode will arrive with Warzone 2.0 at launch later this year. I played DMZ for the very first time on my first day at IW, and to this day, playing it nonstop, the possibilities with this game mode blow my mind. So DMZ, I can also confirm that DMZ is real. <laughs> we're not going to go into depth on it today because we do have to keep some stuff in reserve. What I can tell you, though, is we've created a rich sandbox where you can define your own win condition. You infiltrate Al Masra, you accomplish your goals, and then you decide to extract when the time is right. It is played across the whole map, and the AI is occupying large sections of the map, and they are lethal opponents, and they do command your respect. You have to watch out for them. You have to work with your team. They patrol areas, they occupy strongholds, and they'll reinforce based on players' actions. And then on top of all this, you can choose which mission you want to accomplish, or you can chase after a variety of, of activities in the world. And you can play this differently depending on your playstyle. You can go loud, like I always do. You can go quiet, or you can hunt other players or avoid them entirely. Or you could just decide, hey, I'm going to explore the secrets of Almazra and see what's there. Loot up, exfil. It's 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 totally up to player choice there, and um, I'm I'm really excited about the full scale of what we're delivering for this chapter. And we want players to have an amazing experience in Warzone 2.0. We've been listening to the conversations in the community, specifically around small maps, ricochet, anti cheat, ranked play, and beyond. And Trust me, although we're touching on some of the core updates to the overall Warzone 2.0 experience today, and mostly focusing on BR, there will be more news to share over the coming months. This is only the beginning for Warzone 2.0. Okay, I need Warzone 2.0 and DMZ in my life ASAP. Stephanie, when? Warzone 2.0 will be free to play for everyone on November 16th with the start of season one across Modern Warfare 2. Mark your calendars, that's about two weeks uh, after, <laughs> after Modern Warfare 2 launches. Um, and we had 125 million players in the original Warzone. And I cannot wait to see all of you and hopefully more of you in Almazra for this experience. And you will have a chance to see a Warzone 2 Battle Royale Alpha playtest happening right here behind us very, very soon. Yeah, the streamers are hot to trot. They're raring to go. Uh, we will see all of you in Al Mazar on November 16th. But don't go anywhere just yet. Stick around because when we come back...